Hey guys, it's Janelle. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm actually taking you through my bullet journal planning style. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how I typically plan in my bullet journal. I am testing out this, uh, what is it called? The... <laughs> I can't think today. I'm testing out this pen that I found from a local Asian stationery store. It isn't that great, but what do you expect? I paid five bucks for it, so it's not like it costs a lot. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to show you guys how I've been typically setting up my bullet journal. And the reason why I say typically is because if you see on the left hand side, it does look a little different than the right hand side. So usually I set up my bullet journal um, in a vertical layout just because it helps me to prioritize certain things. Um, and like you'll see, I create a top three. So those are the top three things that I need to get done or like three appointments that I have during the day that are very important. Um, <laughs> but I then put like a little section where it's like littles or shenanigans, um, just like the smaller things that I want to get throughout the get done throughout the day. And this also incorporates anything that I need to do for like the wedding, my shop, um, designing stuff. So that middle portion really is the catch-all place. And then I also mark my dinners. And as you'll see at the top too, as well, I should say. <laughs> I try to put in, um, I try to do like the verse of the day uh, just because sometimes, you know, I know life gets really hectic and for me, one of my favorite mottos that I've been, I've lived by um, is be still. So like when things are going bad, when you feel lost, when things are chaotic, it's to just be still and just trust in his plans. And so my, I typically use the verse of the day to do that, to just take a moment, be still where I'm at and, you know, read his word and see what's going on. How does it apply to me um, and what I can use or how can I apply that in my daily life? So that's how I typically set up my bullet journals. Now, like I said, my bullet journal is usually the catch-all, so if I have any upcoming appointments or anything, sometimes I'll jot it down in here, just because I typically have my bullet journal with me all the time. So um, I use the Bible app to find my verse of the day, and uh, usually <laughs> I am playing catch-up. So usually I am reading through a couple days worth, but I do enjoy being able to take a moment and just do that and I wish I could wake up earlier in the morning to um, you know just spend some time within the Bible app and um, within the verses but I already wake up at like 5 5 30 so I don't think I could wake up any earlier than that um, before I used to wake up really like ridiculously early but Brian got like a normal job now so um, but here I again I'm just filling it out and I tend to fill out a couple days worth just in one sitting um, because <laughs> I I try to remember what happened the previous day and from there it helps guide me into what needs to be done that day if it makes sense so like if like today as I'm recording this it is Tuesday so yesterday I wasn't able to get some of the laundry done like I was hoping to so I will add that into today's agenda so my bullet journal is usually current and the things that I want to do that day or planned ahead to do but a lot of the times I actually just kind of plan like three <laughs> three days um i spend time in it like three times a week um just because i usually don't fill it out on mondays and then tuesdays i fill it out thursdays i fill it out and saturdays i fill it out so um just because i have a few days worth so you'll see that like the camera angle changes a little bit like how zoomed in it is and also like if i'm wearing sleeves or not so that's how you know i am you know 
changing it up or filling it out a different day um and then this week was also kind of weird just because for work i had to do like the weird schedule where i worked half day and then went in for almost a full day um the like at night uh just because we were taking our holiday decor down so it was like a huge project so it was i like doing that though because at work i actually get to get stuff done which is nice i don't typically get to have a lot of time to do things so it's nice to be able to just you know do work and not be interrupted every 10 minutes which is you know what happens sometimes and then i do check my dinners in here as well i don't know why but <laughs> i think it's because i like to go back to see what we had for dinner um and i know i do it for sure and like if i do it on my impressions or whatnot just because um you know it just takes us space but here i tend to do it just because i want to make sure that we're not eating the same thing every week so and it's not like the same think the same day so it's not like we're having monday night is a chicken dish and then tuesday night is steak and then wednesday night is whatever and then the next week you know the same thing um so i like to make sure i'm changing it up but <laughs> i know i do find it i find it really weird that i only track my dinners in here um even though i do have a health planner that i track all my meals in <laughs> um dinner just seems to be the thing that I track here and then you'll see here I did a horizontal layout for Friday Saturday and Sunday mainly because again I was working that weird shift on Thursday and going into Friday and I knew Friday I wasn't going to be doing much because I'll be catching up on sleep so I figured it's okay to not have it so structured where on Thursday you know I did my usual structured thing <laughs> structured layout but the nice thing about bullet journaling is really the fact that I can always change it up depending on my schedule and depending on what I'm needing that week. There will be weeks where I just do a horizontal layout and, you know, call it a day. But there's also going to be weeks where, you know, I do need it to be very structured just because, again, like if I have a ton of appointments, like doctor's appointments or um, just meeting people or, you know, scheduling dinners and whatnot to catch up with friends. Um, I tend to need a lot more of an outline of the things that are like important and then where I can figure out from there where I can plug in the not so important things but still <laughs> important things. So I'm just going to finish up filling in Friday and the weekend. You'll see on the right I am have basic nutrition stuff. That's because I felt like my brain was turning into mush and so I decided to start learning about nutrition and the body and how our body processes foods and whatnot. So yeah. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick bullet journal plan with me. I'm planning to switch it up and show you guys how I plan in all my different planners. That way you guys have a better idea of how all of my planners work together. Um, but yeah, this is like the first installment of it. I guess. Uh, but I hope you guys are having a great week so far. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.